So here we are. As you can see at the bottom, we have health, energy, and thrust. So we're able to walk around now and jump. What the hell is that? Welcome back, everybody, to Subnautica. I'm IGP, and last episode, we were checking out the Sea Dragon and the Sea Emperor, both of which I spawned, and they're not to scale, which is actually even more scary than seeing these guys, because they're a tiny, tiny version of what they're actually going to be in the future, which is supposed to be this next update, which was actually supposed to be in April. It's now May, but that's fine. Early access. I know you guys are heavy into development, but I'm excited. We're, wait, we're basically kind of lollygagging until the update happens. I don't want anything to break on my save game, so I want to keep it the way it is and just explore a few things and, and look at some new items that are being added. And then when the update actually comes out, I'm going to rebuild everything that I have here in the new version so that way we're stable for a little while. So today, guys, we're going to be checking out some updates to the Cyclops, which makes it really fun and interesting, which some of you may already know about and some of the features we saw in last episode. And also, we're going to check out the Exosuit. Now, the Exosuit is not modeled correctly, but it is finally functional. I think at one point it was functional in a way like you can walk around with it, but now you can actually move around as it's supposed to be operated. And we're going to take a look at the lava castle because it's easier to maneuver with the exosuit. And because the Cyclops is big and bulky and hard to move around, I feel like it's hard to see anyway. So let's take a look at the first few updates to the Cyclops. So the first thing we have updated to the Cyclops are the lights. We can actually turn on the front lights to it or turn it off as well as the interior lights, which makes it very eerie. I think that saves on power, and it also might be something that happens when you're exploring that maybe, in the final version of the game, that the creatures will not be able to see you. Um, or I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's been hinted around a lot, that uh, you have the ability to turn off the lights because it will actually attract other animals, typically in deeper, in deeper places. That is actually the truth. So we'll keep this on like this. That looks pretty cool. Now, the next update, which you guys have told me over and over again, and I swear this goes back to about a year ago, probably, or something like that. Actually, I actually don't even know if I've been playing for a year. But like my early episodes, you guys telling me that we have lockers available in the bottom of the Cyclops. That was never functional until now. I mean, it may have been recently, but it definitely wasn't um, back when you guys were telling me about it. But we do have one, two, three, four, five lockers. I think I actually stored something in here. Yeah, lithium. With uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 slots in each one. So that's 60 slots. We have available a free storage on the Cyclops without having to make anything else. That's kind of nice. Now, the third and final update that I've actually found that hasn't been described. Now, again, guys, in the experimental mode, there is the site that I keep forgetting to link to you guys, but um, that you can find where the developers check in and tell you little by little the updates that are being added in. There hasn't been much. There was actually activity a few days ago, but then it stopped again, so I don't, I'm not going to rely on that anymore. So I don't really know if there is anything else besides this, but when you operate, you do have the radar telling you what's around you, what's going to hit you. Now, this counts for creatures and for terrain, so if you're about to run into something, it will tell you. And the other thing is this that's been added. Very nifty. We have cameras all around the Cyclops that we can actually use. So we have camera one. Now this operates just like the scanner room, which I haven't showed you guys yet, but most of you probably already know. The scanner room is essentially the same thing. You can send out drones that have cameras just like this, and you can actually move them around based on, I think it's like battery power, and they come back and charge. But uh, it's essentially like that. So we have three cameras. We have one at the very bottom that we can look around at. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dying. And then we have the conning tower, which I'm assuming is at the, yeah, it's at the very top. So we actually might be able to see the dragon, the sea dragon. But it's, it's lit very well, if nobody else notices this. There's actually not much of a, of an ambient light effect going on here. That's kind of nice. And then the screw, which I'm assuming is the very back. Yeah, it's the very back. So that's actually really amazing. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and move on our very little power. Oh, God. I'm very nervous about what's going to hit us. So let's get up forward so it's not a concern anymore. Okay. I think I'm going to look at the cameras now. What do we got? Oh, ambience. Whoa, God. This is actually really creepy to look at. Oh, man, please. What is that? Okay. Oh, we're at the top. Okay, so I don't see anything. Right and mouse button don't do anything just yet. And we're at the back. Okay, so we're at the very top of this den. I want to get over to land so I can travel around with the, uh... Oh, God. Wait. 
Was it? That was the back, right? Oh, uh, see now if the sea dragon made noise, that would be even worse right now. All right, let's go to the first one. This is so helpful. I have no idea where I'm at right now. Oh, guys, what happened? What has happened? I have no idea where I'm at. There's a blue area behind me. I'm lost. Oh, wait. We have rock over this way. All right, let's get over. I can't see anything. This is terrible. These lights are not helping. It's literally just like illuminating blueness. Okay, here we go. Caution. Blood nutrient levels yeah. Decreasing. I'm dying. I might need to get out of here. I think I have some food laying around. I don't even remember what I stored. Oh, I have the cured peeper and the disinfected water. Okay, that's enough for right now. Okay, here's a big old thing. All right, so I want to get to the ground and be able to spawn this exosuit. Don't worry, I'm not going to hit that. I, I kind of want to be away from the sea dragon, honestly. How high did I go right now? Holy crap. Oh, oh God. Now, let me make sure that I'm not actually in the den anymore. Okay. This looks promising. Promising. <laughs> no dragon anywhere. That's good. That's super good. Okay, let's take a look and see. Oh, ooh. What is this area? Holy crap. We are going to explore something fierce with this, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Has it always been making that noise? Above us? Or below us? Oh, below us. Whoops, that was my fault. Okay, let me go ahead and get out, and we'll spawn in the exosuit, because unfortunately, there is no recipe to build it just yet. I do have to spawn it, which sucks, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let me just make sure that there ain't no sea dragon nowhere. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, so here's the exosuit. As you can tell, it still has that old model that hasn't been fully updated yet. And I, we can't exchange the power cell already, so in case we run out of power, it's definitely possible. Uh, I don't know what this tail thing does, but let's just see here. Okay, so here we are. As you can see at the bottom, we have health, energy, and thrust. So we're able to walk around now and jump. What the hell is that? What in the hell is this thing? For a split second, did that look like a face of like a giant freaking sea creature to you? Or was that just me? Oh man, you guys did that on purpose. I know you decorated this area to look like that. If this thing freaking moves, what? If this moves, god, god, dude, I am so nervous right now and it's probably not even anything to worry about. Oh, is it? Why is it glowing in certain areas? That's what I want to know. Is it eyes? That's the, that's the castle, isn't it? Oh my god. Please. Please. Just do me a huge favor and do not move. If you move, dude, you're like, you're like, essentially the size of what I imagine this emperor to be- Okay, it's just glowing. It's lava. It's lava. Oh, it's just lava, guys. No worries here. If I hear a roar, I'm gonna die. Alright, so we're outside of the den. Actually, this is where the sea dragon should be hovering around at, right? Please don't be, though. Man, it is super quiet. It doesn't make any sound except for when I thrust. Giggity. Alright, so let's go to this weird thing. So the sea the sea- the castle now has eyes. Or it has, like, little pockets of lava. That's really neat. Holy crap. Man, for a split second, I believed. I believed. I believed. Now, <laughs> someone actually left a comment which left me scared because of the idea of it. They were mentioning an idea of a creature being so big that just the eyeball is the size of the Cyclops. Now, this creature should exist in Subnautica. I agree that it should exist, but it shouldn't attack or anything. It should just open its eyes, maybe make a noise, and just be creepy. And you only can see its eye if you go to a certain place. Like, that would be magnificent. And then that's when you can appreciate how small and inferior human beings are to the, to the uh, world of Subnautica. Okay, let's try to get up here. This is nice. Moving around like this is very clear, too. 
Now this is supposed to be like a glass shield, and I think it's supposed to have some kind of like stasis weapon. They mentioned something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. But this is very nice to have. The energy runs out really quick. I actually don't even know if I have uh, a power cell with me, because I might I might need that eventually. I don't. We'll be okay as long as I can get halfway up here. Now the thruster doesn't go for the full length. It kind of like stops around 50%, so... Oh, what are we looking at here? I wish I could take my Seamoth out. That'd be really nice. Oh, okay. Now, can I land on that? I can. Okay. So this is actually easier to travel as the exosuit versus uh, the person like on the floating islands. I kind of feel like that's what I'm doing right now. I want to get to the peak and see if there's anything up there. There's definitely some lava crust. Oh, whoa. Now this might be where it'd be really cool to find like a sea dragon egg up here. I don't even know if those exist just yet, but they're apparently supposed to be a thing. All right, let's uh, get up, get up. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Go get up a little bit higher. There's a ceiling. I'm almost at the ceiling. Oh, let's go right here. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> so this this is how you're supposed to be exploring the lava biome. Although it's still very dark in here. I think this actually goes to the top. Uh, jump up. Jump up. There we go. Okay, so we're at the flat ceiling of the lava biome. At the top of the castle, pretty much. You can't see anything. Ah, uh, you cannot see anything. This is creepy. Alright, so I might, I might step down and explore a little bit out. I want to go get the other power cell. I might need some food. I'm falling, I think. I'm falling. I have no idea where am I going. Can't see. The lights don't shine in a direction, any direction except for the front. Okay, here we are. I don't want to fall in the den by accident. That would suck as I lose the exosuit. Although it doesn't really matter because I'm going to get, I can just spawn in another one just to show you guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, there's the eyes. Okay, don't scare me like that. All right, so we're looking at some lava pits down here. Now, as you can tell, I have my thermometer. It's not actually emitting any heat. And this is actually confirmed being outside as well. Not just in the exosuit. In fact, it doesn't even harm me, does it? <laughs> Would be funny if it did. Alright, use the exosuit. All right. Now, there's supposed to be pits around everywhere. Um, I don't know if they lead any anywhere, if there's like underground caves for them or whatnot. I don't even... Okay, this looks cool. I don't want to use up all the thruster. Okay, looks like we're going to some cave system right here. And the music changed. That's promising. This is kind of nice, like, there's so much of this area I've never even explored before. I don't even know if there's anything significant in here, but it's nice to see the terrain and how it's all sculpted out. In fact, I think this is going to keep going. We're pretty, we're pretty deep right now. I don't want to run into any enemies. That would suck. Now there's apparently supposed to be li limestone chunks, I think? Limestone chunks around places, I don't know. But I haven't seen any. But that's usually in like the area like leading to here. Uh oh. This would actually be also nice to explore the uh the prison once that's established. Basically, guys, we're gonna be waiting. We're just getting a sneak preview of what we're gonna be able to do. Hopefully the exosuit's gonna be there. Apparently they carved out a room in the Aurora, or they put up a room in the Aurora that's gonna have the exosuit. That's where you're gonna get it, actually, or the blueprints for it. I'm not sure. But uh that's gonna be nice. What the hell are you? Yo, we got blue glowing things now. Or is that just because it's in the distance? Oh, what is this? Whoa, okay. Come on, turn red. Otherwise, you're going to creep me out. Okay. Very good. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Yeah, I know. Recommended. I know, I know. We're going to have to... I'm going to have to get out of here pretty soon to get some food. Now, guys, last episode, we mentioned, uh, you guys mentioned and pointed out that I left in something in my edit, uh, that showed that I used the oxygen sheet, which is true, guys, yes. If I'm out scavenging for stuff, like, I, sometimes I will actually spend three hours recording just one video, and then I have to edit that up. Like, that's, that's time consuming. And what doesn't help is me having to go to the surface over and over and over again to get oxygen. 
Sometimes I'll turn on the oxygen sheet, and sometimes I will forget to turn it off. Most of the times I catch myself before I do anything else because I do want to do this legitimately. I want to do this as legitimately as possible so you guys can understand what it's like to actually play the game versus just cheating away. Um, now I was supposed to be able to dock this. I highly doubt it now. <laughs> I don't know where. I mean, I guess I could put it on top. Oh, can I jump on top of this, though? Dude. I might need to lower it down a little bit, but... Alright, let's hold on. Let's let's just... Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> Come on! Damn it. Oh, wait, I can just land on that. There we go. That's the smart thing to do. What? Okay, I think I landed. <laughs> I don't know if this counts. Oh, I'm lowering it. Sweet. This exosuit must be super heavy. Alright, let's get up top. And... Yeah, so guys, I want to do this as legitimately as possible. So, hopefully I don't lose my exosuit here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna carry you around, buddy. Don't you even worry about it. Alright, let's get back in here. We're gonna have to leave this area and get some food and stuff. But that was pretty much a sneak preview. When Thanks. When the uh, when the actual lava biome is done and the sea dragon's there, it'll be much more intense and fun for me to do it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. So right now I'm going to head back up to the surface and survive, hopefully. Um, but yeah, again, hope you're not disappointed. I would explore more, but I feel like it would ruin it. There might be some places that are carved out for like special things that we may not know about. And I want to go through the full exploration once it's actually done, so... Let's go ahead and head back up and try to survive in this survival game. I don't even know if I can drive this thing. Can I do that? Oh my goodness. Now, is it going to lower me down? <laughs> yes. All right, let's just get out of here real quick. And uh, I think we'll be okay. Let's just take a look. Where are you? You're the screw and then... Hello? Whoa, you're huge. That would actually scare me for a second. Dude, what? Hold the hold the front door. You see this? Yo, exosuit, you are huge, man. You are behind. You are definitely behind the thing here. It looks like actually it might just be the overlay. I think it's just peeking through. That's creepy though. That's super creepy. All right, let's get out of here, seriously. Ugh. There we go. Now I can move around. It was actually weird when you're hungry. And you start starving and such, you can't, actually can't move around a lot. It, it makes you move very slowly. Alright, let me just eat my brain out real quick. Alright, so we're full. And, uh, yeah, so we're back at the base here. It's actually a little laggy for some weird reason. I've never seen it this laggy before. Very strange. Ah, the good old Mick boat face. Alright, so we're back home out of the lava biome. I hope you guys enjoyed the exploration of that. And sorry if the video isn't as, uh... As long- what? Pick up power cell. Hello? The exosuit didn't make it with me. It fell off the top of the cyclops. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. The exosuit's pretty cool. I think, uh, once it's modeled and has the ability to carry, like, a weapon or something like that would be amazing. I think it should. You're gonna be plunged down into a place like that where you need to explore with an exosuit that you should have something to at least defend yourself with. If it has, like, that EMP tool like this, the Seamoth does, that would be... A nifty little thing to have, but other than that, I think it's pretty awesome. Next episode, I'm going to show you guys the scanner room and what that does um, specifically, and hopefully we can find the fragments for that, and uh, whatever else is new at that point, and hopefully the machine update will come out pretty soon, or the creatures attack, whatever you want to call it. And then what I'm, what I'm going to do, to explain again, is I'm going to rebuild all of this. I'm going to take a picture and, and note down everything that I have inside of- what the hell is this on top? Oh, scrap metal? Weird. Weird, but note down everything that I have inside of lockers in them and such and I will replicate this um, in the same area and Pretty much continue as if I had the uh, you know the same save just went through the update and hopefully that'll work uh, That's probably the best foolproof method, but I do have that other trick But which, which guys I know I told you I'd make a video on it I'm, I'm so behind on making videos I'm gonna make the one about the batch files and show you guys how to future proof your game So that way you don't have to worry about the train update messing up all of your bases and such so there's that Keep a lookout for that. Keep a lookout for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.